Uh, this is a video about how to organize your tool holders for turning and also your lathe and mill inserts at the at the end. So, so damn creepy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at the end, we're gonna uh, put the information below to download the Google Sheets, any blueprints, and without any further ado, we're gonna jump in this so I don't waste a bunch of your time. So again, I hope that you use this system because this took me a couple years to, to, to develop. All right, so we have all of the tool holders for our Mazak. And now this can technically be used on spade drills and drills or anything that you want to organize like this. And I put them on carts, that way we can roll them around the tool crib. It's a really good idea, uh, in my opinion. I mean, there's, there might be better ideas. And if there are, please leave it in the comments. We have, uh, for example, a, if you go to the Google Sheet, and I'll show that here in a second uh, after I get done describing the system. You go to A, it'll tell you what brand that this holder is. It'll have links to the seats. It'll have links to the clamps, the set screws, all that, so you can replace it. And you can even rebuy the holder. And this will have to be customized to your shop. So you'll have to get one of these lasered out, which was our cheapest option. We actually uh, plasma cut this one ourselves and put little bolts in them to raise them up. And I'm, again, I put them on a roll around cart. That way we can just roll it around the shop. You can uh, pick out like A and then in the Google Sheet, it'll also tell you which inserts to use. For example, uh, you go to the Google Sheet, you go to A and it'll be like, all right, use insert I, I, U, and Z. And then you would go over to where you organize the inserts and bam you would have kind of the same system. You would go to I, and then you would go to whichever other ones that your Google Sheet is calling up, and you would, you know, use those. I know that's not the exact possible insert. I just kind of guessed there, but we have all of our inserts organized just like that. And I'll show you in the Google Sheets how I went about organizing the inserts as well because I took a picture of them. I found them on their website. Ingersoll has a really good website and it tells you the radius, what material that is uh, used for and I just like, I can't think of a better system. It really is amazing. Um, also have an inventory hooked up to it, which some shops that's harder to control, but it does give you that option. Again, this is how I organize all of my inserts and the rest of the work will be in Google Sheets. So we will move on to how I'm organizing all of these in Google Sheets. And what you're gonna need to do if you want a system like this is get um, a copy. I'll print out this geometry, I'll make a blueprint of it. And, or you can just design it yourself, but you'll have to get one of these, you'll have to label it. You'll have to label your holders like we did over at Chia. And once you get everything that has numbers on it and letters and everything to where you can identify them, then you will need to uh, take pictures of everything. So I took pictures of all the holders and then I found them all on the websites and I put all the links in there. For example, like, like I said, the set screws, the clamps, all that stuff you can find on the Google Sheet. And all you have to do is click it. It takes you to the website. You can buy it to replace it. So... It's a lot of upfront work, but it is very, very worth it. And you can do that with end mills, you can do it with uh, your spade drills, your boring bars, and then that will make life so much easier in the future. Here is the Google Sheets. All right, everybody, this is the Google Sheet that I was discussing. This is how I go about organizing my inserts and my tool holders. Whenever I make this video, after I make this video, I'm going to nuke out all my information and just have a blank template for you to fill out. And then I'll have a separate video about how to fill it out without messing up the Google Sheet. So this video is strictly just gonna be how I organize my stuff in case you guys wanna do the same. So we're gonna move on to the top and we'll kinda of work our way down. So as you can see, the top two rows stay at the top as you scroll down and you can choose by clicking the drop down the different processes or holder or uh, 
insert angles. So we got 35 degree angles, 55 degree angles, and it'll change this row right here. And as you click, it will take you to the different inserts. So these are the different 55 degree inserts. I just started this system, so we don't, at our shop, we don't have this thing completely filled out. We're actually going in tomorrow on a Friday to fill out the rest of this. So we got a little bit of work to do. And I suggest when you start a system like this to go through and just knock it out because as soon as you kind of half it, things start falling apart and the system's not going to work. So you just have to go through and push forward and get all this done. I had to take pictures of all my inserts, which the only mistake I made is I didn't put a scale beside it so you can see how big the insert is. So we are going to redo that. All right, moving forward, I'm going to click the top, take myself to the top of the page, and let me describe what you are seeing in front of you. So the brand is Ingersoll, the insert number I type there on the box, and the order number. So this is just another number that I put on there to uh, either type in Ingersoll to find the insert or to hand to somebody to help find it. So as long as I give them the brand and the order number, then they can find the insert and order it from the front office. So I also have it linked to the insert itself. Do, 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 do. There we go. So it gives you all the information about that particular insert. So it's a little upfront work, but once you do it, it's going to save you so much time and money. So kind of important. You got your inventory, the radius of your tool, the angle of your tool, whether it's positive or negative, whether it's OD or ID, the notes section, and these little lines are just like a loading thing, so they disappear as you scroll down, and depending on your internet speed, things like that. The section over to the right is going to be feeds and speeds and depths of cut for this insert on roughing and finishing on the different types of materials. So you can change these materials around. Again, I'm going to have this kind of a blank template whenever you guys download it. Let's move on to the next tab, which is going to be more important. I mean, they're both important, but this will be the main tab you use. So these are the holders. So this is my A holder. It tells you what inserts can be used in this holder. And I'm going to click it, and it'll take you to this insert. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to go here. Now, here's another thing that I've always wanted to do. So the numbers on the holder, so this takes you straight to the holder itself. Some of these are broken links and, uh, because of, not broken links, but some of these are out of date on some of the holders, so you'll have to find replacements elsewhere, like Ingersoll or a different brand. But that gives you all the information, including the rake angles, stuff like that. All right, gives you the brand, gives you the clamp, so uh, the clamp screw, the insert screw, so all the things that strip out need replacing, the seats, I have all those linked. That way, if I, uh, I can click this, click this, I can email this link to the front office or whoever I need to, and they can order that set screw. There's no just setting the tool aside and hoping that somebody else uh, deals with it. And I don't have, again, we're going in tomorrow to fill all this information out, but let me see if I can find you an example right here. So this one takes multiple inserts. And the one below it even takes a lot more. So you can go through and click these links and it will take you to all these different inserts. So if that, oh, that one's not it. What about this one? That's the one I was looking for. Sorry, it's getting late. I just want to get this video done because I've been wanting to share this for the longest time. I've been very excited, probably more excited than I should be over something like this. <laughs> but that is what happens when you love organizing and machining and making your life easier through tedious uh, sheet making. So <laughs> uh, I will clear this sheet out. I will make another video teaching you how to create these links because that's going to be through this list here. And that this entire section here is only meant for creating this drop down. And I don't have all this filled out yet. Oh, here's a good one. So profiling threading. So if you got a profiling insert, which if you don't know what that is, I will go over that in a, probably another video with threading. But 
uh, let's see, we want the 1.5 pitch. You click it, there it is. So that pretty much concludes it. And all of these are linked to the exact location. So Z1 is in the Z1 slot. All of these holders we paint marked on the side. There's going to be a better, like, I want to get a laser and engrave them. So like the W might look like an M. So you're, you're going to find better system. This is a, a baby system. So there's still a lot of little kinks that need to be worked out. But for now, hopefully this gives you guys a good idea of what to do with your shop. Go to uh, my YouTube channel for machining tutorials and subscribe and follow for more links like this to download for free. Everything's free. I just... I got sick of trying to become a millionaire teaching people because it's kind of pointless. I just want to put knowledge out there and teach people. So as you can see, I want everything to be free. I don't care how much money I spend at this point. I mean, I do. I do want to not be homeless. But I do want to change people's lives in some form or fashion. And the only thing I can think of... who need to change that, that picture there. But the only thing I can think of is teaching you guys for free, giving you awesome Google Sheets. So, uh, subscribe that that'll help me out, you know, boost my ego. <laughs> so, and hopefully you'll get more free stuff. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned.